Hi everyone, welcome back. So all my things that I ordered on Black Friday are finally here. So this one is just gonna be a mini haul of Old Navy. And I feel like every time I do a mini haul, I talk more than when I have like 20 items. So we'll see how fast I can do this. Also, I'm in my attic because my house is like the beginning scene of Home Alone right now. Like there are truly just hundreds of people running around, a ham flying through the air, like pure chaos downstairs. So we'll start with Something basic, but this is my favorite thing I own. So I had to buy my, I think, fifth or sixth pair of these. So these are the Old Navy Active Jogger. Um, these are my literal everyday pant. I wear these as much as I can. They're also my go-to travel um, outfit, I guess. I'm going to California tomorrow again. I'm actually getting on a plane at like 6 a.m. tomorrow, so I already have my other pairs of these ready to go and then another pair for the way back they are so comfortable um easy waistband they really feel like you're wearing nothing but also nothing is rolling down they have the elastic at the top of the waist just to really hold you in um but nothing's digging like i said nothing's gonna roll and then a relaxed yet legging feel down the leg and then they come in at a cuff so like i would call them a breath looser than the legging. They're not like hammer pants, but they're also not gonna feel tight and on body. So the most comfortable, casual pant you can find. I've worn them to the gym. You can wear them with like real clothes. You can pretty much wear them with anything. So when Old Navy was having 50% off, I'm like, why not stock up on yet another pair? Um, I also, I don't know if you guys, you know, fall into the idea of outside clothes. So since I worn my other ones on planes and like in random Ubers and stuff, I'm like, I need a pair that I can like sleep in my bed in. So I don't know how I'm gonna like differentiate, but like this is gonna be the home pair. Um, I get these leggings in an XL and that is the perfect size for me. Um, so it'll be linked down below, but it's called the High Rise Jogger in the Go Dry fabric. So a little bit more of a sportier um, spandex fabric, but again, you can wear it with real clothes and probably won't get noticed. Okay, next, I don't know why I did this to myself. I bought yet another tennis dress but this one was five dollars so i was like if it's a dud you know i can do anything with this so um white which again i was like you are really <laughs> risking things with a white dress but i paired it with um a purple kind of oversized cropped that's an oxymoron but a little cardigan i had i thought that looked cute i then paired it with an oversized denim jacket that looked cute because on its own i don't think this looks good on me we all know me and old navy and the active dresses and fittings and you you know there's a whole video on that but um it does have a fun little back here built-in bra shelf built-in shorts um this one i got in an xxl tall i did like that it was tall um just to give you a little bit more length because i feel like that's been a problem with me in the past um, but yeah, I just got that same smocking effect that I've been getting with the Old Navy Active dresses. I do think I need a seam right at the hip for the skirt to start again. I think that is a better look for me. So, tried it. Didn't work out the best. So, this might end up on my Poshmark. Um, but you know what? For five dollars, it was a good effort. Okay, as I'm filming this, I'm literally also packing for my trip and I'm usually a last minute packer. So the fact that I'm doing it maybe 12 hours in advance and not an hour in advance of leaving for the airport, I'm very proud of myself. Um, maybe one day we'll get to like a full day out in advance, but not yet. Um, I'm going to California for my works holiday party. So I need something um, work appropriate. So not like super booby, but also like, mildly festive so i saw these little skater dresses this one is in a black velvet i saw taryn denise i think do the maroon velvet and literally i had every color fabric of this in my cart and i'm like i can't get them all they did end up being like 14 and change um with the black friday deal i was like i probably could have gotten a few but i was like let's see how i like it and then go from there this one i got in xl i feel like i got it in the tall a few of these did have the tall option, so that's, I think, good for someone like me. Like, I feel like my butt is always out, so I'd rather have a little, a little more length, but this one doesn't say tall, but I feel like this covered enough to the point where I would feel good with this and maybe, like, 
a jacket or a blazer and I would feel okay wearing this to a company party. And even if I don't, I think it's just good to have for the holiday season. Um, and a black velvet dress, it's not so out there and like kooky, Christmassy. You can wear this for different occasions throughout the year. So I just think a skater cut is a great body on me. I'm apple shaped, I have a huge stomach, I look pregnant, like, I'm trying to have things skim off that area. So a skater dress is always a good option. I also like that these straps are thick. I need to wear a bra with most things. Um, so you don't have to do like the bra math when you pick up this dress. You can wear your regular bra. Everything's gonna be covered. So I really like that. Um, I think this has, yes, there are pockets. So that's always a plus. Um, so again, this one I got in an XL and I think it covers not covers all my boxes, checks all my boxes. So I did just say I had a bunch of those dresses in my cart and got rid of most of them, but I did get a second one just cause this um, pattern was too cute to pass up. I did in my head think this was gonna be velvet as well though, and it's not. This is just a linen fabric. Um, it does have the stretchy smocking in the back. So always good to have extra room. I did feel in the front my boobs were smushed a little. The fabric on the velvet one is way more stretchy, has a lot more give than this linen version. But the linen version has the stretch in the back while the black one does not. So there's, you know, give and take with each of them. But yeah, same style throughout, also has pockets. Also will cover a whole bra. Um, and it's booby without being like, Whoa! This one I also got in XL. So this is also an option for the Christmas party. Again, probably with a black jacket or something over it. Um, this one I felt like was a little shorter than the other one, but I think that just comes down to fabric and not having stretch. So I like this pattern so much. I was between so many different dresses and styles that I was like, okay, I like that fabric and I like the length of this dress. So I got the same fabric, but in um, a midi dress. Um, so this one is not skater, it's just straight up and down. Um, spaghetti straps, which I'm not thrilled about, but I did get two dresses from Old Navy this summer that had spaghetti straps, and I wore them a lot, so I know I could probably, you know, make it work. And this is, like, tight enough where I could stand without wearing a bra, and things won't be going in every different direction. Um, so this one I also got in, oh no, this one I got in a large, okay. So this one is just a large because of the two dresses I got in the summer, with the similar body, I was like, if I just size down one size, I definitely won't have to wear a bra. So I think that was the mindset with this one. So this one is a midi length, and I pretty much just got this one because I like the fabric so much. You know how, like, everyone, when they're styling things on Instagram, they'll wear a midi dress and then a sweater like this over it, and then, like, fold the sweater so it looks like you're wearing a sweater and a skirt? You know that? I have the intentions to do that with this, just because I didn't have a skirt in this design. The only thing I don't dig is that it's tiered, so under the bust there is stretchiness, which is always good, but then um, there's like a four inch tier here, and then a seam, and then another tier, and I feel like that middle tier is right where my biggest like stomach gut roll is. So I feel like it's just calling attention like, whoa, there's a tire around your waist. So not my favorite thing. Um, so this one might go back. I do feel like when I return though, like am I really getting money back? Cause I'm probably gonna shop there and get a pretzel at the mall. So it's like, you might as well just keep it. So I'm up in the air about this one. I feel like if I, you know, try it again and style it with the sweater as I intended to, you know, things might turn out better, but I just didn't like that that seam around the stomach, which the ones I got earlier in the summer that are very similar, it didn't have it, so I wasn't expecting it. But I do love this floral design, so I know I have the backup dress of like a regular skater dress, but we'll see if I can make this work. Okay, that's everything for my mini haul. I think we're right around 10-ish minutes. Wow, very proud of myself. As usual, all these items we link down below. My sizes are down below, my links are down below. It's all there. So thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.